Hi. In this how-to, I'm going to demonstrate how to install Alice. The easiest way to get to the Alice website is simply to use Google. So, I'll Google Alice. Under Downloads, notice there are three versions of Alice. What we're using in CS105 is Alice 2.0. So that's what we want to get. Choose your operating system. Here I'm using Windows 7. So I'll download Alice for the PC and just save it onto the desktop. Okay, we're back. I had paused the video while the Alice file was downloading. Here's the downloaded zip file. If we open the zip file, here is Alice. So let's move the Alice folder to the desktop. And we are essentially done now. If we open the Alice folder, here's the Alice program. So I'll double click on that. I don't want to have to see the security warning every single time I run Alice. So I'm going to uncheck that box there. Choose Run. And here's Alice. You could simply leave this Alice folder on your desktop. Simply open it. Double click on Alice every time you want to run Alice. Alternatively, you could move Alice into your My Documents folder or somewhere else. What I'm going to demonstrate now is something a little more advanced, uh, which is to add Alice and Slow and Steady Alice into all programs and then hide this Alice folder in the location where all your other program files are kept. I'm going to start by opening the computer, going to the C drive, the boot drive, and notice we have, or I have, two program files folders. If your PC is set up like this, where you want to put Alice is in this program files x86 folder. If you don't have this folder, then you will have the Program Files folder. In that case, you're going to put Alice into Program Files. Alright, so I'll open Program Files x86. Move the Alice folder in there. Open the Alice folder and then using a right click I'm going to create a shortcut for Alice. I'm going to rename this to get rid of shortcut. This is a right click. And then just get rid of shortcut. And I'll do the same thing with slow and steady outs, which you won't ordinarily need, but it can't hurt to have it in all programs. So right click, drag to the desktop, create the shortcut, and then rename the shortcut.
Whoops. There we go. And close this folder now. Open the Start menu. Right click on All Programs. Choose Open All Users. Open this Programs folder. Create a new folder. Name it Alice. And then I'll select these two shortcuts on the desktop and drag them into the Alice folder I just created. Let's open this so you can see. There they are. Close this now. If I open all programs, if all went well, I'll have an Alice folder with Alice and Slow and Steady Alice. So let's open Alice and there we have it.